Good evening, football fans of Oklahoma. Welcome to the high school game of the week. Sponsored by Communication Federal Credit Union and Metro Technology Centers right here on KINB, CBS Sports Radio. We are excited to broadcast tonight's rivalry football game between the Edmond Memorial Bulldogs and the Edmond Santa Fe Wolves. We are broadcasting live here at the Wolf Den on the campus of Edmond Santa Fe. It is a beautiful Friday night here in Edmond, Oklahoma. The conditions are absolutely perfect. We are just about ready to get this thing started. I'm your CBS Sports Radio play-by-play -play announcer, Jay Swick. And I'd like to introduce my dear friend and color commentator, the man himself, Mr. Taylor Hildebrand. Taylor, may I just say, as I saw you walk in today, your beard looks exceptionally glorious this evening. God bless you. I'm Thank not you. sure what conditioner you're using or what type of oil application, but... I must say, it's it's well played, my friend. I appreciate it. I can't give my secrets away, unfortunately. Yeah, well, what you're doing, it's work. It's working, and it sounds like you're spending some money. Thank on you. It. But uh, I'm excited to be I here I am tonight. too, man. Uh, we got an Ed uh, Edlin matchup here. I, I, it's always exciting when these Edmund schools match up versus each other. It gets a little more intense, a little grittier. So I'm really excited for tonight. It's, it should be a nice treat, a little high school Monday night football. You don't usually get that. Hey, we'll take it, though. It's a blessing anytime we can get out here and, and play football. Uh, and tonight we're doing it on the beautiful Edmond Santa Fe campus. Uh, th this stadium is kind of nicknamed the Wolf Den uh, because it, it is a very tough place to play. The environment can get a little hostile uh, sometimes. But this is a rivalry matchup that everyone's excited about, especially the people here in Edmond, Oklahoma, Edmond Memorial Edmund Santa Fe, I'm excited. We we don't have a huge pregame show, so we're going to get right to it tonight. Edmund Memorial is sending their kickoff team out onto the field, and Edmund Santa Fe has clearly won the toss and elected to receive. Edmund Memorial is kicking to the south side of the field. No wind conditions whatsoever, not that I can tell, not a very – Windy night in Oklahoma, which is extremely rare. It's all yeah, that's very rare in Oklahoma. Um, but gosh, you couldn't ask for a better day. Uh, it, it was actually nice that it moved from Friday today. One want to thank everybody who's listening to us live, uh, kinbfm.com for the video stream. You know, ch check out the website. Click on the All City Sports YouTube link, and just check out the broadcast. Watch the game. It's a beautiful ex experience. Edmund Memorial just kicked off to Edmund Santa Fe. I think that's Talon Chaton taking it to the 15, close to the 20. Boy, and he was mark hit hard. Him. I think they're going to mark him down at the 16. There's a flag on that too, Swick. And that's never a good sign when you start the game with a penalty. Well, I don't know if they're going to say that defender uh, came down and used his helmet. Lowered his head for that hit. It was a big hit. That's all I know. It definitely looked somewhat violent. Yeah, that, that's absolutely correct. And it's a block in the back by the... Okay. That makes sense. But Edmund Santa Fe is going to take on offense first and 10, I believe. So they're going to mark, mark them back to the eight-yard line. Yes, sir. Scott Pfeiffer, number 16, junior quarterback for Edmund Santa Fe. He's going to lead the offense tonight. Ethan Hike, number seven, in it running back. They run a spread offense, and right now they've got three wide receivers split, one in motion. Ball is snapped. Pfeiffer hands off to the running back up the middle. Gets a few yards. He's hit, and he's bounced off. Tackled at around the 15. That was a nice little run by the running back. Broke a couple tackles. Made something out of what looked like nothing. We're going to see quite a few draws tonight. Uh, they like to throw a, a wide receiver screen. And then as soon as you he, they get the defense to kind of buy into the run, they throw it deep to number two, Taylor Chitron, who was one of the most spectacular athletes 
in the state of Oklahoma. That's a fact. Shotgun formation. Four receivers split. They're going to hand off to Ethan Hike up the middle. He collides with the Edmond Memorial defense for just a few yards. It's early on, but they're doing a good uh, job of swarming to the ball. Edmond Memorial has had to deal with tremendous adversity this season. Of course, we had to move the game to Monday night tonight. A lot of returning players for the Edmond Memorial Bulldog defense. Shotgun formation, four receivers split. One running back, ball is snapped. Pfeiffer throws to the running back, and it's incomplete. Is it a lateral? Is it a live ball? It bounces out, out of bounds. I'm not sure where they're going to mark it. I think he was a little behind him. So that was, that could be a lateral. Uh, well, they're going to say that, give him the benefit of the doubt there, say it was a forward. Oh, nope. It is a lateral. Yeah, they did call it a lateral. Ref just took dangerous, a little while. Dangerous play for the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. It is second down and 13 on their own 19-yard line. Zero to zero. Ball is snapped. Pfeiffer looks to throw. Hits Taylor Chitron over the middle. For a gain of maybe 11, they're close to the first down marker. Great throw by Scott Pfeiffer. Now you've put yourself in third and manageable. This will be real nice for the Wolves. Third and one for Santa Fe. If I was Edmund Memorial, I would expect a run. They've got a five-man front. Ball is snapped. They give it to hike up the middle. I think he's going to have enough yardage for the first down, but he certainly didn't get very much at all. And it is a first down. Edmund Santa Fe head coach Kyle White uh, has done a pretty good job with this program. He's got a lot of returning players. They've had a really tough schedule to start the season against Owasso and Stillwater. They finally got a victory against Edmund North, and now they're playing Edmund Memorial tonight. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. Pfeiffer looks to throw. Over the middle, deep, almost intercepted by an Edmund Memorial Bulldog. I think that was Grayson Logan. Sophomore, number 81 for the Edmund Memorial Bulldog. His guy was open there. I like the throw. It was just a little bit high. Um, but I like taking the, ch the chance there. And Logan seemed to r have a read on it. Playing that free safety yeah. position. Yeah. Shotgun formation. They're going to hand the ball off to Hike. He's bouncing outside, trying to find a lane, and does. Gets close to the 40. That's about an eight-yard run. Yeah, nothing fancy there. The lane was there, and he hit it hard, and great run. Pretty well blocked by the yeah. Santa Fe offensive line. Agreed. Santa Fe's offensive line, a lot of size. A lot of size. Shotgun formation, third and two. Three receivers split, one running back. Ball is snapped. Hands off to Hike. Up the middle, and he is tackled by number 25, Jaden Austin. And we're going to have a, a flag on the play as well here, Swick. What do you think it is, Taylor? I'm going to guess holding. But it did come from the sideline. We have a timeout on the officials. All right. It's yeah that that flag is, I think is certainly picked, on uh, Edmund Edmund Santa Fe or or they're they're yeah I think they picked up the, the flag. Beautiful night here in Edmond, it, Oklahoma. It is. I mean, you don't you don't get days like this. Very and that's often. a first down just by the nose of the football there, Swick. Very close. First and ten for Edmond Santa Fe. Got a little bit of rhythm here. Almost through that interception, but they've been running the ball pretty well tonight. A lot of football to be played. Yeah, and Santa Fe does a good job of taking time off the clock, too. They put in uh, old-school football drives down the field. 
Edmund Memorial running that 4-3 defense. This is a big game for them. I spoke with their assistant coach, and he said, man, we are ready to get out there and play some football. Shotgun formation, five for hands off, sweep to the right side of the field, and he gets some yardage, and that's going to be another first down for Edmund Santa Fe. Gain of over 10 yards. Yeah, impressive run. Did you see what number? Yeah, he just come off the sideline. Let me get his. Number 28. Number 28. Or Micah Snowdy. We should have known. A, yeah, who is a senior. He's a hard runner, y'all. Gritty. A lot of experience for the Edmund Santa Fe offense. Shotgun formation. Pfeiffer throws a quick comeback route to the wide receiver. It's number two. Chitron. Jalen Chitron, who's very highly ranked. And he's only a junior, ladies and gentlemen. He is coming back for a senior season. Uh, I know he's got a lot of interested universities. Yeah. That want to give him a scholarship to play football. Shotgun formation, second and five. They are in Edmund Memorial territory. Ball a snap. Pfeiffer throws to the slot. Nice He makes bat. one man miss, and he's going 30. Close to the 35. I think they're going to mark him down at the 27-yard yes, line. Yes, sir. Beautiful uh, cut in the open field. Made the uh, only man miss him in the open field there and picked up an extra and 10. And that's what Kyle White likes to do. He likes to put his skill position players, get them the football in space, and let them execute their – their athleticism. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to Hike up the middle. He's going to go. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Edmund Santa Fe. They made very, that look easy. Very good run by the Santa Fe Wolves. And, my goodness, it was well blocked as well. And he just loves to just kind of bounce it outside, find a lane, and go. And that's, that's Edmund Santa Fe offense. And as soon as you yeah. fall in love – with the run, they just hit you over the top with Taylor and Chitron. Yeah, they didn't even have to do that this uh, drive, really. They, they kind of tried at one point over the middle. It didn't work out, but they're running the football beautifully tonight. Kick is up. It is good. Edmund Santa Fe is seven. Edmund Memorial, zero. Six minutes and 45 seconds left in the first quarter. want to thank everybody for – Tuning into the broadcast tonight via KINBFM.com. We really appreciate your viewership. And it's really nice that we can live stream the game and show you video so you can watch along with us. Pretty yeah, cool stuff. And it's really cool. We got uh, two cameras set up, so we got a great show uh, for you. So if you're not watching, you need to. And it's something else. Communication Federal Credit Union is one of our sponsors this evening. Communication Federal Credit Union has branches in Oklahoma and are committed to providing the best overall value of financial products and services available to their members. Join Communication Federal Credit Union today. Edmund Santa Fe is going to kick off and give Edmund Memorial their first possession of the game. And... You can see the kick returners. Let me see, see if I can get some numbers for you, See if we can you, get Swick. some names. Number two's out there. And number 41. That's Chandler Blake, senior defensive back and return specialist. And number 41 is Adam Still. He's a wide receiver. Kick five, five. is up, and it is. Oh, it was fumbled. He got back on it, it looked like, and yes, he did. Almost botched the kick return. Very dangerous play for Edmund Memorial. Almost gave the ball back to Edmund Santa Fe, but they were able to recover the botched kick return. So for Edmund Memorial, their quarterback, senior 
Number 12, Carson Reine. They run a triple option raid. They have multiple formations that they run. Several wing T variations. It's a lot, lot to deal with. Slot back is in motion. Going to audible, maybe change the play at the line of scrimmage. Three wide receivers split. And they get, did they get Edmund Santa Fe to jump off sides? No, that's going to be a delay of game. One too many audibles there, Swick. Not what you want to do when starting the, starting the game on offense. No, makes it first and 15 instead of first and 10, and that's always tougher. Shotgun formation. Ryan getting the ball. He looking to throw. Complete. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage. And that was Stell again, the guy uh, who uh, fumbled that kickoff return. Number 41, Adam Stell. Sophomore for Edmund Santa Fe. Reminds me of a little Wes Welker type yeah. athlete. So Edmund Memorial is in a shotgun formation. They have three wide receivers split. One in motion. That's Stell. Looking at the coach for an audible. And another. No, they had to take a timeout oh, they there. Did. They okay. got timeout. But still, the the coach did not look happy. No, no, you've got to you've got to relay that information quicker and more efficiently. Yeah, you got to give your chance your guys a chance to 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 win, and you don't want to keep going backwards for no reason, especially just because you're not ready to snap the ball. Head coach Luke Orvis, uh, very well known. Coach here in Edmond, Oklahoma, has done a great job at Edmond Memorial, and he's he's got some athletes to work with. Corman Goff and his brother Cameron Goff uh, will play the running back position tonight. Also, Michael Sudel, number 40. Going to be getting the ball as well. And obviously, we've seen number 41, Stell. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. Ryan quickly throws, and it's dropped by number 45, Jaquan Whitfield. Hit him right in the hands. Great throw. Just was that unable to reel it in, Taylor. Yeah, uh, you're going to want to bring in all those short passes add up. Uh, it would make it uh, third manageable right now, and it's not. It's third and long. Third and nine, to be exact. Just under six minutes left in the first quarter. Edmund Santa Fe's up by a touchdown, seven to nothing. Shotgun formation. One out back, one running back. Stell in motion. Ball is snapped. Ryan, he throws to Adam Stell, and it's incomplete. That was a forward pass, and that's going to bring... The punt team out onto the field for Edmund Memorial. Yeah, Stell might have got a little excited there, saw some green there to the left, and uh, if he'd been able to cut it up, maybe have a chance at that first down marker, but you got to catch the ball first. We see that time and time again. <laughs> One thing at a time. Catch yeah, the ball and exactly. then make your decision. Yeah. Ball is snapped. Punt was almost blocked. Fair catch. Wow. Was waved, which I was very surprised by that. I think Edmund Santa Fe yeah, is hike. regretting that now. And that wasn't Hike. But yeah, he's definitely regretting that. There wasn't anyone within 10 yards of him. He had a very good chance to, to do something with that return, and that's not always uh, possible on a, on a punt. So uh, we'll see here. They still have the ball and a new set of downs. First and 10 on their own 37. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand the ball off to Hike, who bounces it outside very close to midfield. And there is a late flag on the, on the play. I'm not sure if he got to the first down marker or not. 
God, they're running right off the right and left tackle and just getting 10-yard uh, runs like it's nothing, Swick. Let's see what the call is here. Face mask on the defense. It was a late, late call, so that's going to give them another first down. And he had a whole swarm of people trying to bring him down. That's a good job by the running back of chopping his feet still. It, it causes more people to come over there, get in the scrum, and, and cause that uh, penalty there. Shotgun formation, three wide receivers split, two to the short side of the field. Got a one-on-one -on -one situation down here, but they're going to hand off to Ethan Hike for that draw sweep to the short side of the field. He could not find a running lane. Might have taken a one-yard loss. On the play. I think you're right. Second down and 10. They are in Bulldog territory. Right on the 37-yard line. Shotgun formation. Three receivers split. Scott Pfeiffer in a quarterback. Ball is snapped. He looks to throw and does. Complete to the outside receiver. We have a flag on the play. In the backfield. Uh, Was that a late hit? Maybe. On, uh, for On the quarterback, possibly. Yeah, possibly. I mean, he didn't go to the ground or anything. I, I wasn't looking there. It was the back judge. He's calling intentional grounding. Is that what that is? Oh, no. Sorry. Gotcha. Wow, late hit on him. wonder if he just pushed him and we didn't see it. Yeah, but. I mean, it was a quick pass. So, he got the ball out really quickly, but then he was – Apparently hit in the backfield, and that's going to move Edmund Santa Fe closer to the end zone. Yeah, those are two big back-to-back -back bad penalties. Cost you 25 yards. Definitely not what you want. And another flag. It's it's tough. It's tough out here. Let's see. Five oh seven in the four in the first quarter. Seven nothing. Edmund Santa Fe. They are driving on the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. It's it's tough. It's tough out here. Another face mask, Swick. That's right. That was the call. So now that's going to be the that's going to move the ball all the way to the twelve yard line. First and ten, Edmund Santa Fe. Shotgun formation, three receivers split, one running back. They're going to give the ball off to Hike up the middle. He gets to the really close to the five. I think they're going to mark him down at the six. It's going to be second down. No first down and goal. Oh, it's, oh, it's first and goal now. They gave him the first. Let's see. We'd like to thank our first down sponsor, Tinker Federal Credit Union. Are you looking for a car or truck loan for a new or used vehicle or to refinance? We'll call your friends at Tinker Federal Credit Union. They will get you financed. Apply online or stop at one of our community branches. Tinker Federal Credit Union. Edmund Santa Fe gave the ball to their running back up the gut. He went... Maybe got a yard. They are on the three-yard line. It's going to be second and goal. Trying to make this a two-possession game. Scott Pfeiffer in at quarterback still. Shotgun formation. Three, two outbacks, a running back. And they hand the ball off to Hike, who is tackled in the backfield by number 79. He's a big boy, Swift. Devin Polly for the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. He got penetration at that defensive tackle position and made a great tackle in the backfield. It, it's going to be third and four. Two outbacks, one running back. Ball is snapped. They're going to give it to Hike up the middle. He's going to be close. He's in, baby. That's touchdown, Edmund Santa Fe. 
the brilliant thing, one of the brilliant things about Santa Fe, they've got, you know, we always say a, a three-headed monster at that running back position. And when they get a new set of legs and everyone always looks fresh running the ball for them on their offensive possessions. Extra point team is brought out onto the field. Ball is snapped. It was a high snap. Kicker's looking to do something, and he throws an interception right to almost to Ian McDonald, who is the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs' best defensive player. Number 44, senior linebacker Ian McDonald, who's been the leader and captain of this defense, and he's led the team in tackles for three straight years. Wow. Really good athlete and re relied upon heavily. Eager to see this Edmund Memorial offense get started. Yes, uh, they got to get something going here. Uh, they, they They've only had one possession so far. We're three minutes, uh, three and a half minutes away into the away from the ending of the first quarter. A couple of penalties on that drive. So let's let's uh, eliminate the penalties on this drive and see if we can get something going. You definitely don't want to give it right back to the uh, Wolves with a three and out. Absolutely. And let's, let's not forget they need to secure this kickoff, too. The, the, the first one was a little suspect. Adam Stell, sophomore wide receiver, number 41 for the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs, back to receive the kick. Edmund Santa Fe is... Lining up the ball, ready to kick off. Ball is up. Pooch kick. And it is caught, right? Close to the 30, 35, 40, 45. Tackled right around the 48-yard line. Big old 84. Who is brought in to be a blocker. Camden Peck. Usually blocks for the kick return team, but the ball literally dropped right on top of him. He had nothing he had no other choice but to catch that kickoff, and he made some progress. Brought them much better field position than expected. I love to see the big boys run with the ball, Swick. Carson Riney, number twelve. Slot back in motion, hands off to the running back right up the middle. May have gotten one yard. That was number 21, Corman Goff, who has bounced around from a few, few different schools in the Oklahoma City metro area. I think he started off at Edmond Memorial, but he's certainly finishing here, and he's the starting running back tonight. Four wide receivers split, one running back. Adam Stell in motion. Ball is snapped. Memorial quarterback going to throw a middle screen incomplete. Was looking for number 21, Corman Goff. Had some room to make some moves had he caught the ball. So it's going to be second and nine for the Bulldogs. Edmund Memorial getting the call from their offensive coordinator on the sideline. Yeah, you got to get some yards here because you might be in four down territory. Riney gets the snap, looks to throw, incomplete. Threw a slant to the wide receiver. Had he caught it, I don't think he would have gotten the first down, but it would have been close. But it was incomplete anyways. They're going to bring out the, f the punt team. Yeah, and like I said earlier, if, if they had uh, got some yards there with them being past midfield at that point, they, they might have gone for it, Swick. Taylor Chitron, number two, the punt returner for Edmund Santa Fe. Good punt here. And he does not make a fair catch, but he tries to make something happen, maybe gets three or four yards before he is brought down by the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. Two minutes and 36 seconds left in the first quarter. Edmund Santa Fe 
has the ball and a 13-point lead over their rival, the Edmond Memorial Bulldogs. Scott Pfeiffer in at quarterback. He has started every game for the Edmond Santa Fe Wolves and done a pretty good job. Shotgun formation, three receivers split. Slot back in motion. They're going to toss him the ball. He's hitting the backfield. He gets away, but then he gets tackled by a swarm of Edmond Memorial Bulldogs. He may have gotten a yard, but I think he just got back to the line of scrimmage. That's a win in itself, though, Swick. He, he was uh, contacted three yards deep, at least, in the backfield. So good job by the young man to not take a loss. And when Edmund Memorial gets penetration like that and hits hits the running back, they got to hold on, got to wrap up. You cannot arm tackle these guys. Shotgun formation, three receivers wide. Pfeiffer hands the ball off. He is tackled by a swarm of Bulldogs. And that's going to back him up. And it's going to be third and, uh, third and long for for the Santa Fe Wolves. Yeah, this is their longest third down right now. The Bulldogs have done a good job of getting them here. Now uh, get them off the field. You've got El Tremaine Neal, number 24, down here at the bottom, wide receiver. And you've got Taylor and Chitron lined up on the outside. Ball is snapped. Pfeiffer's looking to throw. He's getting some pressure, and he's hit hard. That was big, number 79 79. Again. For the Edmond Memorial Bulldogs, Devin Polly, senior defensive lineman. They're having problems blocking him tonight. Yeah, now he has a sack and a big-time tackle for loss, so that's a big job by the big guy, and he got pumped about that one. So that's going to make it fourth and even longer for the Edmond Santa Fe Wolves, and they brought their punt team out onto the field. Trying to see who the punt returner is for Edmund Memorial. It's, it's number 23. That's Tyrell Bruner, sophomore wide receiver. Edmund Memorial has a lot of younger guys getting a lot of good experience in this game. They're getting the ball on the 50. This is where you ended last time. That's right. Number 12, Carson Riney in at quarterback still. And head coach Luke Orvis rounding his troops together. Trying to make something happen on offense. Just under, th list right around 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Edmund Santa Fe is up 13 to nothing. But Edmund Memorial has the ball. Out back in motion. They're going to hand off to number 23 right up the middle for maybe two yards. That's Goff. 33 is a big old boy. Says he's 185, and folks, he's every bit of that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But you need to specify, he's right around 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, yes, so yeah, a, he's a brick. That's a big that's <laughs> he's a, a big, cinder block. big guy. <laughs> he's a big boy. Let's see. Shotgun. No, it, no it's... Shotgun formation. And that's going to be the ending of the first quarter. Again, Edmund Santa Fe is up 13 to nothing. Edmund Memorial on offense and just trying as hard as they can to get a first down. T Taylor, what do you think of this game so far after the first quarter? Um, entertaining. Santa Fe is doing what I, I expect them to always do. Uh, they're a, a finely – well-oiled uh, well oiled machine, and they're coming out here and playing uh, where they left off last time we saw them. And, uh, yeah, if you're Memorial, you, you're, you're doing all right, okay? You're doing all right. You've gotten a stop, and that's big time because you hadn't gotten one yet. But you've got to start moving this football a little. Um, second and five, this is good for you right now. You, you really got to make this a one-possession game, though. Their defense have, has came to play. Yes. Uh, they just got to get something started on offense. And they haven't given up any big plays. No, they haven't, and that's tough. That's that's a win in itself. Especially with we, Chitron. Yeah, absolutely. Edmund Santa Fe is known to, to do make some big plays on offense. Ball is snapped. The running back finds some room. 30. Close to the 25, 
How long was that run, Taylor? That was about a 25-yard run there. That was beauty right there. Beaut. He found a lane, found a hole. He ran hit that right hole hard. through it. Was that Cameron Golf? Yes, yes, 33? 33. Yes, he's still back there. His brother is number 21, Corman Golf. Ball is snapped. They give it to 33. He's trying to find some lanes. Well, you see how when he hits that first defender, they get shook. It, it's going to take two to bring him down tonight if he's got any speed behind him. Talking to the assistant coaches, they say he's, he's incredibly strong. They work hard in the weight room. Have a really nice facility as well. Shotgun formation for Edmund Memorial. Second and six. Ball is snapped. Ronnie gives it to golf up the middle. Makes Runs over one man, and then he's tackled by a swarm of wolves. Or should I say pack of wolves? I like pack of wolves. The pack of wolves. And his helmet pops off, so he's going to come out. have to come out for a play. Now they're in the red zone right at the 21. Yeah, and, and finally have some rhythm going. Yeah, you got some rhythm going. Um, and I would argue you're in four down territory at this point too, unless you uh, got a kicker with a leg here. Yeah, down 13 to nothing, you, you've you got to make some moves. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. Ronnie looks to throw. Bootlegs it out right, looking for somebody. Let's it go. Whoa. Threw to the corner of the end zone, incomplete. I thought he, he gave his guy a shot there. Um, thought there was a little contact in the end zone, no call, but it, it was kind of right there in the beam, hard for me to see when that contact happened. So Yeah, it could have been 50-50, but that ball was just slightly overthrown as well. Good look, though. Now, see, this is fourth down. It is fourth and three, and it looks like they are trying for a field goal. Number 99, Ryan Busert. And the snap is missed. Busert's looking to throw and does. Intercepted. Intercepted. He's got some room. Is that Chatron? 50. Number four. 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Edmund Santa Fe. Yeah, that was number four. We do have a flag on the 35. Right, might see a block in the back, but that, that was good. Gavin Duverger. Wow. With the interception and pick six. Still impressive. Uh, even if it comes back, it's always nice to get to see one of those. Great he, job. He found a lane to run and he was gone. Yeah. He hit a stride and I don't think he ever had to slow down for a cut or anything ever again. Senior defensive back, Gavin du Duverger. I'm sure he's going to remember that for quite some time. Is the is it going to come back, though? It They're already walking back, Swick, so I believe it okay. is. Um, so let's talk gonna... about what set that up, Swick. Well, I, I really wish they would have ran it on third down and, and maybe had shorter yardage for that fourth down and, and gone for it as opposed to kicking. We know how, how uh, risky it is at this high school level. Uh, wh what did you think about that? I was just intrigued by the whole – what what led to all this yeah you know when you get bad snaps like that and then you have pre penetration as quickly as that oh it was fast as that you know defensive line got he was forced to to, to have to do something it was just unfortunate there was nobody there when he was throwing that hey but your defense been uh, doing good right now get another stop here first and ten for Edmund Santa Fe Pfeiffer looks to throw complete no it's incomplete Hit him right in the hands. Might have been a little high. But he had an opportunity to bring it bring it in and unfortunately didn't. It's going to be second and 10 right at the 20. They've got a 13-point lead. They're not in any hurry whatsoever. But they are having problems blocking number 79, Devin Polly for Edmund Memorial who's been just tenacious at the nose guard position. Shotgun formation, Pfeiffer completes it to the slot. He's trying to find, makes one man miss, makes another man miss, 30, 35, and runs out of bounds. That's a good 15-yard gain. Yeah, great job, great moves and cuts. I mean, it, 
it looked like he should have been down easy, easily, and they just really, couldn't bring him down. Really showed his athleticism yeah. out there. So that's going to be a fresh series for the Edmonton Santa Fe Wolves. Right at their own 35, they did not have very good field position at the beginning of this possession, but they are making room to run, and I think we have a timeout by Edmund Santa Fe. So far, so good for the Wolves. It is. Yeah, they're playing very well. Um, I mean, they've only been stopped on that last possession, so we'll see what they do here with the new set of downs. Yeah, they've been running the ball successfully, um, and they just really haven't had the need to they haven't throw had, much. No, they've been getting almost – they're probably averaging close to 10 yards a In carry. In fact, when they throw, I mean, they're getting s uh, solid pressure from the defensive line, people like Devin Pollock. Well, and they're even utilizing the throw game by, by uh, using their running backs out of the backfield and, and uh, doing short passes, and the running backs are just – running after the catch for another 10 to 15. It's just great. They're playing very smart. Want to thank everybody who's listening to us live on KINBFM.com and clicking on the All City Sports YouTube link, checking us out via the video stream tonight. Really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to download the app Stream by PPBC, Perry Publishing and Broadcasting Company stream by PPBC right on your cell phone. And Scott Pfeiffer tries to throw. It's incomplete. Was throwing to his wide receiver on a comeback route. Well read by the defensive back for Edmund Memorial. Yeah, he was able to get in there and lay the hit right when the pass was delivered. Very hard to catch those sometimes. Trying to make it a three possession lead before we go to halftime. Ball is snapped. Pfeiffer looks to throw it almost complete. It was a beautiful play action fake. And had he led the receiver just a little bit more, I think he would have been able to bring it in. And if he had, that would have been a, a huge play. Yeah, it would have been a huge play because he's, he's fast and uh, he was already almost at full stride there. That's so. one of those plays you kind of mark yep. and say, hey, we're coming back to yep. that. Yep, We're going to exactly. come back to that. I bet we see that again. Shotgun formation. Scott Pfeiffer in at quarterback, overlooking the defense. Ball is snapped. He hands off to Hike up the middle. He's got a lane to got a lane to run, but he was quickly tackled by the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. Yeah, he had a good cut back there. I thought he was about to hit a nice lane, but a great job by the Bulldogs to close that up. Quick. Jaquan Whitfield on the tackle. And we are having some substitutions on both sides. It's going to be fourth and six. Edmund Santa Fe is going to give the ball back to Edmund Memorial. Trying to see who the punt returner is. Punt is up, almost blocked. Memorial gets the ball. I think that's Goff. He finds a room to run. 40, 45, 50, 45. He's tackled. Did see some laundry out onto the field, though. I think that's going to come back. I think I saw a block in the yeah. back. Did you guys? We've got a whole crew of producers here tonight in the booth. want to thank everybody for helping us out for the live stream broadcast. Everyone except you, Lucky. <laughs> 9.09 left in the second quarter. 13 to nothing, Edmund Santa Fe. Edmund Memorial's going to get some opportunity, get another opportunity on offense here. Start right at the 21 yard line. Edmund Santa Fe had that interception on yes. last possession after the botched snap on the field goal. If it hadn't been for that block in the back, we'd be talking about a different game right now. So take advantage right now, Memorial. Carson Riney, number 12 in a quarterback, hands the ball off to 21, who's just gets a nice little run, was drug like he grab the defender grabbed his jersey and just drug him down. That was Corman Goff. 
We're going to see a healthy dose yeah, of, of the Goff brothers. Of, of both Goff brothers tonight. Really a great metaphor is just thunder and lightning. These guys, really talented running backs. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. Going to hand off to Goff off the middle. Makes one man miss, a second man miss, and this, then he's brought down. Really close to the first down marker, and they're going to give it to him. First down, Edmund Memorial. And they get right back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I like the tempo they got going right now. I would run with this uh, kind it, of somewhat hurry-up offense. It's like a shotgun it. formation, but it's a form of wing T. They yes. do a lot of different different things out of it. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to Goff. He's got some room to run. Hit a lane. And then I think he was tackled by Colin Oliver. And that was a shoestring tackle by the young man. Way to hold on to his foot. Those Goff brothers are, are uh, hard to bring down. Also, Blake, Blake Montgomery on the tackle as well. Shotgun formation. Three receivers split, one in motion. Ball is snapped. They're going to give it to Goff up the middle again. He's going to be close to the first down marker. I don't think they're going to give it to him. It's going to be right. Actually, they are. Yeah, I was about I to mean, say. I mean, he went I, right at it. I it agreed, was close. I agreed with you, Swick, but they gave him a, a, a beautiful uh, spot if you're a bulldog. So, That's right. You know, they – and the Memorial, their, their offense is really simplified. They've got five blocking schemes and three pass protections. So they are very confident in what they're doing and the way they execute it. Slot back in motion. They're going to hand off to Goff again. He's going to bounce it outside the tackle. He gets it. 40, 30, 20, 10. Tackled at the seven. Was that Corman gone? No, that was Cameron. That was the they're, big boy. They're twins, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they're twins. Cut us a break, but he just bounced right outside the tackle and just took off. And he was finally chased down by a Santa Fe wo Wolf defender. Edmund Memorial, first down and goal on the eight-yard line. Ronnie gets the ball, going to hand off to Gorman up the middle. Touchdown, Edmund Memorial. They just ran that play back to back to back. Yep. It could not be stopped. If you can't stop it, you keep running it. Well, and, and the funny part is they ran it back to back with his brother and then, like you said, twice more with the other brother. You're right. I mean, th th they've got their own different positive things about their game, and they found some rhythm. Ran the same play four times with two different running backs. Kick is up. It is good. We've got a game here, Swick. We've got a one-possession game. Santa Fe 13, Memorial 7. Six minutes and 45 seconds left in the first half. Thank you guys for tuning into the broadcast tonight. Big shout-out to our sponsor, Communication Federal Credit Union. Communication Federal Credit Union has branches in Oklahoma and are committed to providing the best overall value of financial products and services available to their members. Join Communication Federal Credit Union today. And if you're looking for a great career, Metro Technology Centers has training for jobs in high demand. Metro Tech has hands-on training in medical assisting, culinary arts, and more. Earn certifications, certifications and license taught by industry experts. Metro Technology Centers, preparing you for life. Finally got some momentum for the Edmond Memorial Bulldogs, and we will see what Edmond Santa Fe, how they answer. Yeah, and uh, if you're a Bulldog uh, on the defense, now you're even more energized because now you've seen your offense put points on the bo board. After two really good defensive stances from you, let's see if they can put a third together. And they're going to kick off. I believe that's Taylor Tron out there as the kick returner. 
exceptional speed and athleticism. We'll be playing football on Saturdays, but that is yet to be determined. I'll be watching them. That's all I know. Oh, a lot of people are. A lot of people are. I'm sure there's several recruiters and college scouts tuning into the broadcast tonight via the live stream. Edmund Memorial kicks the ball off, and it is going to be a touchback. So Edmund Santa Fe is going to take over on offense and try and get some momentum back on their side. Yeah, let's see if they go back to running on first down. We've, we've seen a healthy dose of Ethan Hike, the senior running back, number seven, uh, who's just had a great career here at Edmond Santa Fe. I'm, I really expect him to, to get some opportunities to play football on, at the next level as well. Shotgun formation, three receivers split. One running back, Pfeiffer hands off to Hike up the middle. He's going to bounce it outside to 25, close to the 30, almost a late hit, but no flag. Felt like that was kind of close. Number seven for the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs, Kate Adams on the tackle, push out, whatever you want to call it. That was a great run outside. But that was a nice eight-yard run. And that's Ethan Hike's game. They're going to find a lane and, and, and hit it hard. Shotgun formation, three receivers split, two to the wide side of the field, going to hand off to Hike up the middle. He makes a nice cut, gets a few more yards, good enough for a first down, probably a five-yard carry. And they are running away from Devin Paul here, trying to avoid yeah. him because he is tough to block down there on the defensive line. Yeah, he's already had a couple big tackles for loss, uh, a sack, so I'd avoid the big man as well. Shotgun formation. Pfeiffer looking over the defense. Gets the snap. Play action fake. Throws deep. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Is it caught or intercepted? Uh, but there is a flag on the play. I'm not sure what is – Gosh, if, if that's what is going to happen here? If that was for pass interference, Swick, I am I'm just I'm not happy with that call at all. I think that should have been a no call. Both people have just as much right to the football once it's in the air, and I didn't see any anything that had enough contact for me to warrant that. That's what they're going to call. I hope they wave it off. Very interesting. And that ref who threw that flag was very behind that throw, too. They are going to call a pass interference? I guess so. I don't see how that's a spot foul, though. Either way, Santa Fe, first and ten on the Edmund Memorial 28-yard line. Right at six minutes left in the first half before halftime. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to Hike up the middle. Founds a lane. 10-5. Tackled close to the two-yard line. That was a 20-yard rush. Easy. I Real think, quick. Yeah, yeah. Like it was Real nothing. quick. Yeah. That's why I like he, he's good about if the hole's not there, he's a good cutback runner, but if the lane's there, he punches through Shotgun it. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. He is brought down in the backfield. Is that big 79 again? By that Edmund Memorial defensive line, they got significant pressure. It and is. It was. Devin Polly. I've been watching him on the line. They're bringing a double team at him every time, and he is making those boys work on that double team. Edmund Santa Fe, very good offensive line. This is a nice battle in the yeah, trenches. Yeah, it is. It's been a fun battle to watch. Shotgun formation. They're going to hand off to the running back right up the middle, and he is tackled at the line of scrimmage. It is a dog pile down there. It's a dog fight down there. 
currently a one possession game, but Edmund Santa Fe is trying to increase the deficit as much as they can. And I'm wondering after seeing Memorial miss a field goal, if, if Santa Fe thinks that uh, maybe they're in four down territory being on the five. These rivalry games just mean a little bit more sometimes. That's right, third down and five. Shotgun formation, ball is snapped. They're gonna hand off to the running back. He's gonna get into the end zone. Touchdown, Edmund Santa Fe. Number seven, senior Ethan Hike for the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. Relatively easy run, well blocked by Edmund Santa Fe. They've brought out their extra point unit. Ball is snap, kick is up. It is good. We have a 20 to seven game here in Edmond, Oklahoma on the Edmond Santa Fe campus. Edmond Santa Fe 20, Edmond Memorial seven. Just about four minutes and 20 seconds left in the first half. What does Edmond Memorial have to do here, Taylor? Well, you, you had a good, uh, you've, you've had back-to-back -back good possessions. The last one you came away with seven points. So you've got something to stand on here. Uh, work out of that same set you've been doing. Uh, the Goff brothers have been really hard to stop right now. I'd keep handing and feeding them the ball. But uh, I would also take a shot downfield out of that formation they're running in because eventually everyone's going to bite. Yeah, the Goff brothers are very hard to stop, especially when Edmund Memorial gets that offense going. Um, and a lot of those guys are playing both ways, so that defensive line now become the offensive line. And that's one of the reasons we see such a great battle in, in the trenches tonight. Edmund Memorial's got Adam Stell back as the kick returner. I think they might have Blake Chandler back there as well. Again, 20 to seven, Edmund Santa Fe kicking the ball to Edmund Memorial. Kick is caught by Stell. No, it's bobbled and he is tackled immediately. Yeah, that's the second. Right at the 15 yard line. That's the second time for the young man. Uh, you'll lose your spot on special teams for stuff like that. Got to be able to receive the kick and make something happen. Well, and you know? I think it goes back to what you said earlier. You got to do everything one step at a time. Again, he was looking downfield at, at the 10 yards of free grass he had in front of him and forgot you got to pick the ball up off the ground first and secure it. Want to give a shout out to Boomer Kia, one of our sponsors for this broadcast tonight. Get that new car you deserve at Boomer Kia, boomerkia.com. Hey, they hand off to the running back who bounces outside for maybe an eight-yard gain before he's ran out of bounds, and they, there is a flag. Could it be a late hit? I don't think that's a bad guess at all. That's over there on the sideline right where that what happened. Would, what would warrant a flag like that? I didn't see it get, get tossed, so I don't know when it got it's tossed, on, but I see where it's tossed, and I, I believe you. So I don't think that's a bad guess at all. And you're right, I think. Late hit, so that's going to personal foul. Move the ball up the field for the Bulldogs. First and 10 at the, their own 42 yard lines. Edmund Memorial getting the call from head coach Luke Orvis. Wing T formation, but shotgun. Outback is in motion. Going to hand off to Goff. 33, Cameron Goff, for a short game. He is a big body. You know, Edmund Memorial, I'm sure, really wants to score here on this possession. We've got a, we've got an injured player. Might be a, looks, looks like, like a lineman. lineman. Yeah. No, it's 33. Oh, it's 33. That's how oh, that's big he is, y'all. God goodness. That's how big Cameron Goff is. Yeah, he's a big one. 
He's on the ground and looks like a lineman. Edmund Memorial really wanting to score on this possession and cut this deficit to a one possession game going into halftime. Just under four minutes left in the in the first half. It's kind of been back and forth. We've had some some fireworks early and often. Big play runs. Yes. You know, Ethan Hike had that great score earlier. And then Cameron Goff had that long run for Huge the touchdown. Run. And unfortunately, he's on on the field right now. He's getting helped up by his trainers and coaches. He's limping off the field. On his own weight, though, so yeah, that's at least weight. good. That's. But I would say he's questionable. I would agree with that, though. Yes. Hopefully. On his return. Yeah, he's he's real gimpy. So we've got a new running back in for Edmund Memorial. He's lethal too, y'all. Got Tyrell Bruner lined up outside at wide receiver for the Bulldogs. Ball a snap, going to hand off to the running back. Makes one man miss, and then he is tackled by a pack of wolves for a short gain. Santa Fe's going to call a timeout here. And they're thinking about getting a stop here and, and possibly trying to get a another score themselves if wanna they get thank, the ball back. want to thank Metro Technology Centers for being one of our sponsors on the live stream broadcast tonight. Looking for a great career? Metro Technology Centers has trainings for jobs in high demand. Metro Tech has hands-on training in medical assisting, col culinary arts, and more. Earn certifications and licenses taught by industry experts. Metro Technology Centers, preparing for life. And Communication Federal Credit Union. Uh, they have branches all over in Oklahoma, and they are committed to providing the best overall value of financial products and services available to our members. That's Communication Federal Credit Union. When halftime comes around, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a five-minute break, but then we're just going to be right back. But hopefully we'll have a, a marching band, and um, maybe Lucky 7 will sing us a song. <laughs> he has an incredible voice. One of our producers here tonight help producing the broadcast. He's what you call an R&B singer. Oh. Yeah. I'd rather enjoy that. Yeah. Very sultry voice. Have you heard of Johnny Gill? Yes, sir. A lot like Johnny Gill. Well, we'll have to, we'll have like to put Johnny him on. Gill. Yeah. Oh, yes. Absolutely. In fact, I think Lucky Seven Eight, he is part of a, a five-man group. You know, Johnny Gill was part of New Edition for a minute. It's another story for another time. Glad to be here on this Monday night here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Blessed to be playing football. Blessed to be doing this broadcast here tonight. I know we've got a nice turnout from all the fans came out to enjoy this football game. Beautiful weather. Only so many days left like this before it just gets really, really cold. It sure is nice tonight, though. It'll be a little nippy when we leave this evening, but right now it's football playing weather. Yeah. Doesn't get better than football weather. Three minutes and 38 seconds left in the first half. Edmund Memorial trying to get something started on offense and cut the deficit to a one possession game. Out back in motion. Ronnie looks to throw and does. Incomplete, threw it to his tight end over the middle of the field. Just a little high. Just over his head, that's Aiden Hamlin. Senior tight end for the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. Pardon me, that was Luke Hankins. 
junior wide receiver for the Edmund Bulldogs. That's going to be fourth and five. They're going to have to bring out the, the punt team. Edmund Santa Fe is going to have two punt returners back to return the punt. Well, it's smart when you got Taylor Chatron back there. That way you can't just kick away from him anymore. Well, also got a little bit of a blocker ball. His snap kick is up. Really high punt. And that's going to go out of bounds. We'll see where the line judge marks it. I don't even know where they're at. Right oh, at the are. 20, at the 19, I think is where they're going to mark mark the ball. It's going to be first and 10 for the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. And they've got about four minutes or they've three been, and a half minutes to do something they've with They've been this successful. Week. They've got one timeout left. No, they've got two timeouts left. So they can, if they really work at it, they can put some points on the board here. Ball is snapped. They're going to give it to Ethan Hike up the middle who gets five yards really easily. Then he fought for the extra three. They're going to say he's just short. Just short of the first down marker. But he is tough to bring down, especially when he sees daylight. He yes. hits it hard. Very good running back. Good. Shotgun formation. One running back in the backfield. They hand it off to him. He gets hit in the backfield, and he is brought down by the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. Did they give him the first down? I think they're going to say he got it. Yep, they're waving yep. him on. I, he he got hit in the backfield, but he was able to take momentum. Yeah, he does a good job following And get forward. enough for the first down. Clock is ticking. Shotgun formation, three receivers split. Ball is snapped. Pfeiffer's looking to throw and does. Complete over the middle. Great tackle by number 81 for Edmund Memorial. But that catch was good enough for a nice game. And a first down for the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. Number 81, Grayson Logan on the tackle. Yeah, and good job to hang on to that pass as well. That was a hard hit. They're going to hand off to Hike in the backfield. He is tackled by the Bulldogs. That's going to be a five-yard five yard loss there, Devin, Swick. Devin Polly just got a ton of penetration and just destroyed that play. He didn't make the tackle, but when you're he, he was he allowed for somebody yeah, else to do. When you're that disruptive, it, it opens up other players to make plays. Second and 15 for Edmund Santa Fe. Shotgun formation, ball a snap. Pfeiffer's looking to throw. Then he's got to bootleg it out right, and he throws it. It's, it's high. And it is incomplete. It looked to me like two players yeah, from the two same Santa time players. were going at it. They We're, ran into each and other. And they ran into each other, and we've got one down on the field. Is it Talon? I am not sure. It's number 24 for Edmund Santa Fe, Ultra May Neal, who, who is a force at the wide receiver position, but also plays on defense. And he's, again, re he's relied upon heavily. It was big old 79 that forced that rollout and disruption of the pass. Shotgun formation, third and 15. Pfeiffer's looking to throw, steps up in the pocket, drops the ball, but I... And the ball's still alive. The dogs got it. Recovered by Edna Memorial, but it is Flag City. Yeah, it is Flag City. I think that's going to be a change of possession. I do. I'm not sure what the referee's going to say here, though. Holding. Holding. So, it's going to be declined. First down, Edna Memorial. What a play. That's how disruptive that defensive line is for Edmund Memorial. They're playing a pretty good game tonight. Yeah, both defensive tackles surged right up both A-gaps, and they were not stopping them. They just bull rushed all three linemen right into the backfield. So a minute 42 left in the half. Edmund Memorial's got the ball back, trying to once again to cut the deficit to a one-possession game. 
Got plenty of time. Good field position. Let's see what she can do with it. Carson Riney in at quarterback. Stell is in motion. Riney's looking to throw. Middle screen complete to Goff, who makes a cut, maybe gets about six yards. And we're going to have a block in the back here. So it's going to come backwards. It's the, the risky run with a screen that takes that long. Oh, it's holding even worse. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And anytime you see Carson Riney just backpedaling like that, you automatically know it, there's a screen coming. Yeah, got to do a better job selling that. So now uh, you're looking at first and 20. and whew. With a minute 35 left. Might be a little more conservative here. The Bulldogs do have two timeouts left. Shotgun formation. Ronnie gets the ball. Bootlegs out right looking for a man. Com oh, oh, almost complete. Hit him right in the hands. That was Luke Hankins for Edmund Memorial. And we're going to. We're going to sound like a broken record, but. Is that personal foul? Oh, man, that's going to back him up even more. That's really, really unfortunate for the Bulldogs. Oh, actually, that's on that's on Edmund Santa Fe. Okay, so that's going to, that, that helps be a, the Bulldogs. Yeah, that'll be a. That's going to move them up. If it's not an automatic first down, it'll give them a. I think so. It'll give him very, very short first down. No yardage. room for penalties like that for S either team. So instead of second and 15, it'll now be second and three, or second and 18. It'll be second and three. They're in Santa Fe territory. Edmund Memorial getting the call from Coach Orvis. Ronnie overlooking the defense. Gets the ball, looks to throw, steps up in the pocket, and is going to run. He's going to run outside the tackle, run out of bounds. Might have another holding penalty. It's got to be. It was thrown late, but it's in the backfield, thrown by the the ref. So If it's not one thing, it's another. Both teams going back and forth on big penalties right now. Yeah, penalties are always a huge factor at this uh, high school level. Well, at every level of football, but the more disciplined team usually ends up winning in these high school football games. Riney getting the call from Coach Orvis, relaying the information to his teammates, overlooking the defense, and we've got another penalty. Yet another penalty. Is that delay a game, maybe? Uh, or uh, do we, we might have 12 men on the field. I didn't see the call. I did not see it. I did not either. I think it's just going to be like an illegal formation or something like that. Too many men on the line of scrimmage. There you go. That's probably what it was. Shotgun formation. Illegal formation. Would Second be, I guess. and 21 for the Bulldogs. Ball is snapped. Riney throws. Complete. Gets back to the original line, line of scrimmage and 10 more. They're going to give him the first down. I think he's just short. Beautiful slant pattern by the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. That, that that's, about a, that's about a 19, 20 yard. Game. Yeah, and that receiver did every bit of that. He ran a beautiful route. He made that ball catchable and then got all those yards afterwards. And now you've made it a manageable third down, and you're thinking about trying to go get points again. Yeah, and Edmund Memorial calls a timeout. 52 seconds left in this first half. They are desperate to get another touchdown to cut this game to one possession. Want to thank everybody for tuning into the broadcast tonight and checking out KINBFM.com. 
clicking on the All City Sports YouTube link where you can watch the game and listen to Taylor and I broadcast it. It's beautiful video stream technology we've adapted here at Perry Publishing and Broadcasting and CBS Sports Radio. Really excited about this new technology we have to offer to our listeners and viewers. If you are in the need for a new car, make sure you stop by Boomer Kia and get that new car you deserve. <coughs> Go to BoomerKia.com right now and get approved in less than 60 seconds. It's that easy at Boomer Kia. I think Lucky 7 drives Kia as well. Blue, right? I believe so. Shotgun formation. They're going to hand off to Goff up the middle. He makes two, three men miss and is still, still alive. And then he's finally brought down. He got the first down, but he's tough to bring down. He is very tough to bring down. That'll stop the clock to move the uh, first down markers. And Memorial's at the line, and they're ready to and run the, their next the, play. Yeah, the clock is ticking. They're, they need to get set and run the play, get the snap off. First and ten. Ball is snapped. Right, he's looking to throw and does. Incomplete. That stops the clock. We've got a flag. Man. What is that one? I just did not. I didn't see any. Again, pass interference there. Um, We've got another pass interference. That'll bring up another first down. Yeah, you're right. 33 seconds. Edmund Memorial moving up the field. Not necessarily the way they planned, but they will take it. On the 19-yard line. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. Ronnie throws. Complete over the middle. Another first down. First down right at the, it was tackled at the five, but time is of the essence. Because it's a first down, that stops the clock until the play clock is begins. Memorial at the line of scrimmage. Snaps the ball. Ronnie throws. Incomplete. He had a man open. He just put a little too much on that. Uh, would like to see him have a, a little bit better touch on that pass there. Give your, your receiver an opportunity to catch that. 15 seconds left until halftime. Second and goal. Edmund Memorial has the ball on the seven. I think they have one timeout left, too. They need to score a touchdown to cut the deficit to one possession game going into halftime. Shotgun formation. Ronnie's looking over the offense. Bootlegs out right. Makes one man miss. Looking to throw it. He's going to run it, and he's going to run out of bounds. Still going to have some time left. If that stops the clock right at nine seconds. And I think it's going to be third down and goal. Beautiful job by the young man to avoid that uh, tackle in the backfield, keep that play alive, and then to get out of bounds and save you from using a timeout. That's right. If they run a quick play and it's incomplete, yes. yeah. or even if it is complete, I mean, they, they, they have some options right now. Well, it'd be real risky if, if you wanted to be real gutsy and hand it to Goff and hope that it gets stopped before two seconds, you could get a timeout in. But, boy, it'd be risky, but he's hard to bring down. I like him in short yardage situations. That's what's so – the scales, weighing the scales Edmund, of decisions. Edmund Memorial sideline trying to encourage their Bulldogs to get it done. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to Goff up the middle. Touchdown, Edmund Memorial. Makes me feel good when they do what I would have done. Corman Goff. Senior running back for the Bulldogs. That's exactly what they were trying to do, and they did it with seven seconds before halftime. That is clutch. Very. 
Extra point team out onto the field. And it's not a gimme. We've already seen one miss today and one field goal by this team mishandled So on the snap. So every point matters tonight. Ball is snapped. Kick is up. No it good. Is no good. It is 20 to 13. Seven point difference, seven point lead for Edmund Santa Fe. They're going to get the ball with seven seconds left in the first half. Probably going to take a knee, I would assume, Taylor. I would right. too. I mean, you do have uh, Taylor Chatron. I'd always line him out wide and, and keep a defense honest. If, if no one really goes out there to cover him or if he's just strictly one on one. With no safety over the top, I might take a shot, man. He's that fast. We may take a small break at halftime. So stay tuned with us. We will be back for the second half. And we'll come back a little bit early because I want to talk about some of the fantastic football we experienced over the weekend. I mean, pretty remarkable stuff, especially when you talk about the state of Oklahoma collegiately. Um, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State had a very interesting weekend. Taylor and I are going to give our opinions. Yes, sir. So please stay tuned to the live stream. And then get ready for an exciting second half. Edmund Memorial is, is ready to play. They're not giving up yet. We've got a very exciting second half. Ready for our viewers and our listeners. Yeah, Memorial will start with the ball as well. So, Kick is up. It is caught by an Edmund Santa Fe Wolves who make one man miss. And then he is tackled close to the 28-yard line. And with two seconds left, they can either go for a Hail Mary or just take a knee. But, I mean, yeah, when you have an athlete like Taylor Tron, you might as well go up and get, give him a chance to make a play. Very explosive athlete for the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. And they've got him split out to the wide side of the field in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Ball is snapped. They're going to give it to the running back. And he finds a lane, and he is tackled. That's going to be halftime. Edmund Santa Fe is up 20-13 to 13 on top of Edmund Memorial. We're going to take a short break. I want to thank our sponsors, Boomer Kia, Tinker Federal Credit Union, Big O's Pork and Dreams Barbecue, Metro Technology Centers, and Communication Federal Credit Union for making this broadcast possible tonight. We're going to take a very short, short break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about some sports going on in the, in the state of Oklahoma, both on the high school level and collegially. Then I want to touch on some awesome action in, in the NFL. Unless you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, <laughs> unless you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, but we, we will we will talk about it when we come back. You good with that, Taylor? Yes, sir. All right, hang out. Appreciate you listening. We'll be back shortly. Thank you for listening to K I N B C B S Sports Radio High School Game of the Week.
Welcome back to the live stream broadcast, the high school game of the week. Sponsored by Metro Technology Centers and Communication Federal Credit Union. I'm your CBS Sports Radio play-by-play announcer, Jay Swick. And to my right, the man himself. The great color commentator, Mr. Taylor Hildebrand. Taylor, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. We've had a, a good uh, game, uh, a lot of ups and downs, but uh, it's been a close battle, a one-possession game right now, so I'm excited. Yeah, and we are about three and a half minutes away from the kickoff uh, for the third quarter. 20-13 to 13 lead. Uh, Santa Fe is on top of Edmonds, Edmond Memorial. Ed Memorial got a score late to cut the deficit to one possession going into halftime. So I'm expecting a very competitive game. Is fatigue going to be an issue, Taylor? I wonder, you know, uh, we were sitting here talking off uh, on break about, you know, uh, routines and schedules. And and uh, I'm normally, you know, not up as late as we're going to be up tonight on a Monday. And Maybe these guys aren't up as late. You know, it's one of those things. We don't know how they're going to handle this uh, in the middle of the beginning of the week uh, schedule. I, I'm intrigued to see if we see uh, sloppier play in this second half, crisper play. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're in store for uh, some fireworks. Uh, you know, this is when we typically see Edmund Santa Fe kind of go for the big play a, a, a lot. Um, usually in the third and fourth quarter, Edmond Memorial uh, is, is, you know, they're they're going to try and cut this or tie this ball game up as as quickly as possible, and they're going to get the ball in the second half. Just to talk about some sports outside of high school as we prepare for the second half, was really uh, really surprised by the loss that the University of Oklahoma. Had against Kansas State, losing by a field goal, 38-35. to 35. You know, Spencer Rattler was 30 of 41, 387 yards, four touchdowns, but he threw those three interceptions that really hurt him. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately just didn't uh, didn't trust his offensive line enough. They, they – uh, Made it real hard for him to trust him in the second half and just uh, didn't make the, the correct adjustments in the second half, and uh, Kleiman did. Yeah, the, t- the turnovers were were an issue for OU in the second half, but also defensively. Kansas State scored 31 points in the second half to ultimately win the game. Next up for OU is a road game to Ames, Iowa, to take on the Iowa State Cyclones. And then after that, the following week, they've got the Red River rivalry Yeah, and against Texas. And Iowa State's another one of those teams where I feel like in the last uh, 10 years or so, OU's done a bad job of playing down to their level when they clearly have the better athletes. I don't know what it is about that team and Kansas State and Kansas. It, it doesn't make sense to why they play down to those three, but – the last 10 years, I feel like they do, and they make those teams have a chance to win it in the end. And Iowa State won this past weekend 37-34 to over TCU. Um, so they got a victory there, and now they've got a nice home matchup against the University of Oklahoma. Oklahoma State is undefeated so far. They won their Big 12 opener 27-13 to over the West Virginia Mountaineers. Spencer Sanders was injured and did not play in the game, so they went with true freshman quarterback Shane Illingworth. He was 15 to 21, 139 yards, and one interception. They scored the majority of their points via running backs. L.D. Brown and Shuba Hubbard each got a touchdown, each rushed for over 100 yards. Next game for Oklahoma State is uh, at Kansas. And then the week after that, they play at Baylor. So their next two games are road games for the Pokes. Yeah, and they had a lot of people uh, doubting them from the previous week uh, before and how they played against Tulsa. But 
they went up against West Virginia, and uh, there was nothing fancy or flashy about it, but they got a, a lead and maintained it and finished the game how you finish a, a game if you're supposed to win. So they did what they were supposed to do. Definitely some Division One collegiate football players playing in tonight's game between Edmond Santa Fe and Edmond Memorial. I know we've talked at length about Taylor Chatron, the junior wide receiver defensive back for the Edmond Santa Fe Wolves. He's got offers from multiple colleges, all of them Division I. Also for Edmond Santa Fe, you've got on the defensive side of the ball, Colin Oliver, 6'3", 225-pound linebacker, outside linebacker, defensive end. Uh, he's going to go to the Oklahoma State. Well, he's certainly committed there. Yes. Anything can happen on signing day. Oh, yeah. We've seen a lot of players change their mind and sign their letter of intent with somebody different. So just because they're committed doesn't mean they're necessarily gonna, going yeah. to go there. We won't know until they put their name on the on the paper. Exactly. So I'm uh, I'm excited about this second half ball game as both teams are ran out onto the field and did some stretching activities to get the blood flowing. And uh, we're going to see Edmund Memorial get the ball to start this second half. Edmund Santa Fe is talking over their de defensive strategy with the players and the coaches. And, you know, they had that one interception off the botched field goal that yes. where, the, where the holder threw it, and it was intercepted by – Edmund Santa Fe, they took it to the house, but there was a block in the pack penalty early on. So it yeah. came all the way back. And and they're lucky. Yeah. yeah. They're thankful for that for sure. But it is a one possession game 20 to 13, Edmund Santa Fe leading going into the third quarter by seven over Edmund Memorial. Pretty excited about this second half. I'm also excited about football on Thursday night. It's going to be Denver at the New York Jets. Not the most exciting NFL game, but still entertaining in itself. Especially if you play fantasy football, which yeah. I do a lot of. It's always fun. I'm not playing this year, unfortunately. Uh, my guys couldn't get it all together before it started. But well, we've had a... We've had a bunch of injuries on the, on the professional <laughs> yeah. level. So as well. it would be a very uh, interesting year it's this tough. year. It'd be it'd be uh, one to uh, you'd be uh, looking at people on the waiver line all 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 week every week. We've got number forty one Adam Stell for Edmund Memorial back to receive the kick. Edmund Santa Fe kicks it off. And it is touched, but in quickly recovered by the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. Gosh, I can tell you this Very week. Very close call. Yeah, this week they're going to work on kickoffs for sure because that was the other returner, and they've had three of the four kickoffs have been dropped. And luckily, you know, Return, re yeah, recovered, recovered all by, three by yes. the receiving team. Yeah. Carson Riney. Still in at quarterback for the Bulldogs, 6'3", 175-pound senior. Shotgun formation. They hand the ball off to Goff up the middle. He's got some room to run. Got five, six, still up, taking a bunch of Edmund Santa Fe Wolves to bring him down. I think that's a, that's a good eight, nine-yard gain. Well, it's good to see Cameron Goff back in. He left the game earlier, and we didn't see him come back in that first half, but he's a big boy, hard to bring down. Shotgun formation. Riney relaying the play to his teammates. Ball is snapped. He's going to hand off to Goff. He's got a lane to run. 45, 50, 45 before he's pushed out of bounds. Yeah, and he went ahead and laid one more hit on a defender before he went out of bounds. I love that in the running back. And that's senior running back, Corman Goff. 
First down, Bulldogs. And that stops the clock. Got a little bit of a rhythm going here offensively for Edmund Memorial. Yeah, and, and this is the first we're seeing him come out of this set with both twins in the backfield, and it's working right now. Carson and Corman. Ball is snap. They're going to give it to 21. Corman Golf, who bounces outside, and he is tackled after about a five-yard gain. We've got a flag on the penalty. Uh, on the field, what do you think the penalty is for? I think they're going to call a hold, but I saw really clean blocking down the line. I didn't see anything that uh, made me. Uh, well, the back judge would beg to differ. Yeah, he's got a better view than me, though, so. That's going to bring the Edmund Memorial Bulldog. That's going to be a, a replay of the first down. Boy, and they're saying that hold was in the backfield, so it's first and 23. Long, yeah, that's a long, long ways to go. Shotgun formation. Briney getting the play, making a late substitution for Edmund Memorial. Looks like that's Cameron Goff in at running back. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to Corman. He's got room to run 50, 45. Close to the 40, that's number 40. Michael Sudel, senior running back for the Bulldogs. Yeah, did a great job of following his lead blocker. It led right to an open alleyway. and I don't think he got a single carry in the first half. He's, no. got, he's got fresh legs yeah. here in the second half, and I think that was part of their game plan. Shotgun formation, second and five. Hand off to 40, up the gut again. I don't think he got a first down, but he's going to be a yard maybe too shy. Yeah, it's going to make it third and very manageable, though. I'd give it to one of the big Goff brothers here. They, they, they've been known to, to take a hit and still get three yards out of it. But. Memorial is running the football pretty effectively right now. It's going to be third down and three. They're in Santa Fe territory on the 40-yard line. Oh, and they got Santa Fe him to jump. Did they get him to jump? Yes, sir. That's going to be first down and 10 for the Edmond Memorial Bulldogs, courtesy of the Edmond Santa Fe defense. Yeah, and they'll take that free yardage all day. Shotgun formation, three receivers split, two to the short side of the field, two running backs, one on each side of Riney. Ball is snapped, hit in the backfield, and tackled immediately by Colin Oliver, number 18. Yeah. Oklahoma State commit with the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he had that one snuffed out. He is fast. He came downhill fast. And he read that like a book. Great defensive play by Colin Oliver. Shotgun formation, wing T offense, one man in motion. They're going to hand off to Sudel up the middle. He's going to get six, seven yards really easily before he is brought down by the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. Ran downhill, made one cut to make one guy miss, got another four yards. It was a nice little run. They're now looking at the... Assistant coach, he's relaying the play. It's going to be second and five for the Bulldogs on the Santa Fe 30. They love to run multiple formations, a lot to account for. They're going to hand off to Sudel up the middle. No, it's an app. It's an option. Wow. And he... And we've got flags flying everywhere. And high. <laughs> it was a triple option. Riney optioned right and pitched. And, I, and, and the ball went out of bounds, yeah, did it not? Yeah, and I like to judge my flags and their, what they are based off of how high the ref throws them. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty Those high. were thrown pretty high. Yeah, they did. The hang time was Yeah, something that long, they're not happy long with. Long time. Personal foul on Santa Fe, Edmund Santa Fe. Memorial had a, a, a foul as well, but 
I, I didn't know what the uh, the call Is was. Is it offsetting? I, I believe they're going to have to be. Head coach Kyle White for the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves discussing what just occurred with the referee. No, they're going to mark him back five, and then they're going to mark the 15. Yep, that's how they do it, and that'll make it a first down. So the ball is on the... 21 yard line. So I guess how that works when the one's a five yard penalty and one's a 15 yard, they just went ahead and administered both penalties and it ends up being a first down for the offense after the yardage. Here we go, first and 10, Edmund Memorial, shotgun formation. Outback is in motion. Ball is snapped, gonna hand off to 40 up the middle. He gets about two, three yards before he is brought down by a pack of Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. Yeah, good job of making it second and five now. You're getting the clock running. You're, you're chipping away at this defense, making them tired. It's a good way to start off the second half if you're a Bulldog. They are now in the red zone. Second down and five on the 16. Shotgun formation. Ronnie gets the snap. Hands off to the running back. He bounces it outside to the 10 and then is tackled. That was number 21, Corman Goff. I think he's going to be good for a first down, right? Yep. Yep, that is a first down for Edmund Memorial. If they can get a touchdown and an extra point here, then we'll have a tie ball game. Yes, sir. Santa Fe started the game 13 to nothing. Seven minutes and 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Outback is in motion. Ball is snapped. They give it to Gorman up the middle. Nothing there. He is stifled at the line of scrimmage. Good job by the uh, defensive line there. They won that battle. Got extreme penetration. We have a injured player on the field. I'm, a, I'm afraid that might be Cameron Golf. It uh, looks to be cramps. They are stretching both legs. Trying to get a he's view of the player of the number. He's laid perfectly where it's real hard to see his jersey. But Edmund Memorial hasn't had as much time to prepare this week. Yes. Due to unfortunate circumstances. That being but they, but, said. But that, they came to play. Yeah, that, yeah exactly. That's what I was going to say. And this, is a, this isn't just another game for them. I mean, it's no. a rivalry g game. A lot of these kids know each other. They've grown up together in the neighborhood. They've, yep. A lot of them have been, you know, intertwined in junior high and elementary exactly. school. So they're very familiar uh, of, of the players, you know, among the players. And this is a special game. Yeah. I, I, this is a game that you just can't cancel. You, you have to do whatever you can to postpone. And so I'm glad they were able to do that. I'm very on, glad. On this Monday night. And as you've said, it's a beautiful night. Perfect night for high school football. There's really nothing better than Friday Night Lights uh, in the fall in the state of Oklahoma. I think that is 21. He, he looks hurt, Swick. That's unfortunate. That was Corman Goff, senior running back. I'd like to see them for carry. For the Ed Edmund Memorial. Or is it a Bulldogs. cramp? It looks like cramp, but he is, yeah, he, he looks like it's a painful one. They are big old boys, though, them golf the, brothers. Yeah, they're, they are well fed. I'm not surprised they cramp in a yeah, little. Yeah, their mama feeds them. There's yes. no question about it. No question about it. Edmund Memorial, 
have, has made the substitution. I believe they put in his brother Cameron Goff in at running back. Yeah, they they switched in the uh, freezer for the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Shotgun formation. Three receivers split. Stell in motion. They're going to option. Great call. Quarterback going to sneak in, and he's in the end Great zone. Great play call. Touchdown, Edmund Memorial. Carson Riney with the QB option. Run for the touchdown. He rolled out left, and... And he hasn't run it yet today, and I don't think anyone was expecting him to. They were expecting pitch all day. And, yeah, he did. And he, he just hit that lane perfectly and the extra effort to get over the end zone. Touchdown, Edmund Memorial, and they can tie the game with an, a good extra point here. Ball is snapped. Kick is up. It's good. It is good. We've got a tie ball game. It's Edlam. Here in Edmond, Oklahoma, Edmond Santa Fe 20, Edmond Memorial 20. Excellent game tonight on this beautiful, unorthodox Monday night here at the Wolf Den, and right on top of the Edmond Santa Fe campus. Want to thank you for tuning into our live stream broadcast via the All City Sports YouTube link. Make sure you tell your friends to log on to KINBFM.com. Click on the All City Sports YouTube link, and boom, you're watching football and listening to Taylor I do the play-by-play -play and color commentary. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, and we want to thank everybody for tuning in to tonight's broadcast. Made possible by Metro Technology Centers. Looking for a great career? Metro Technology Centers is training for jobs in high demand. Metro Tech has hands-on training in medical assisting, culinary arts, and more. Earn certifications and licenses taught by industry experts. Metro Technology Centers, preparing for life. Also need to give a big shout out to Boomer Kia one of our sponsors for this evening. If you're in need of a new car, get one you deserve at Boomer Kia. Check out BoomerKia.com right now. Get approved in less than 60 seconds. It's remarkable. Edmund Memorial is going to kick the ball off to Edmund Santa Fe. Kick is up, and it is caught. It run to the 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, and then is brought down Good at night. the 33-yard line. We do have some yellow laundry on the field. Boy, and that ref must have eagle eyes, Swick. He threw that flag from 40 yards away. I'm trying to figure out what he saw from that far away. They're a little trigger happy. Yeah, yeah. They're a little trigger happy when it comes to the – to the flags. I'm trying to figure out how they run it down the right side of the field and the left back lines judge through that flag. That's just incredible. The and furthest man away from the play through that flag. Edmund Memorial defense out on the, on the field. Waiting for Edmund Santa Fe to decide on a play. What did he see from that far? I'm not sure. And do I mean do they teach the referees to throw the flag where? Yeah, where where, 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 the, where penalty the penalty occurred? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I repped high school football one year, and well, wow. I'm glad you made the career change. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I enjoy this much more. Because if we had Lucky Seven in here, we'd be talking about ballerina. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've got a first. That was a short gain. For two yards, maybe three yards. It's second and seven for the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. Scott Pfeiffer's still in at quarterback. He's had to wait for his opportunity to get the starting position this year, and he has executed it well. Ball is snapped. He's going to fake the run and throw a slant. It is caught. I think that'll be good for a first down. I think they're going to give it to him. 
Just a short, complete pass over the middle. Did a good job finding that hole in the defense, uh, stopping there, and the quarterback got it to him. I believe that was Taylor Chatron. First and 10 for Santa Fe on their own 30-yard line. Five minutes and 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to Hike up the middle. He's chopping away. Gets a few yards. Well defended by the Edmond Memorial Bulldogs. You know, we we talked a lot about 79 Devin Pauley, who's just been a been a force in the middle defensively for Edmond Memorial. It's going to be second and seven on 33. Pfeiffer gets the ball, hands off to running back. He bounces outside. He is tackled for a loss by number 48. Cole Carroll, junior linebacker for the Bulldogs. Defends that outside spot. And really did a great job keeping contained. Yeah, now you put the uh, Wolves in a tough situation. It's third and long. They're uh, back in their own territory, so probably not in four down territory. Shotgun formation, three receivers split, one running back, Ethan Hike in the backfield. Pfeiffer gets the ball, fakes the run, and throws complete to Taylor Chatron. Good enough for a first down. Threw a nice comeback route, hit him Great. perfectly. That's exactly Look, how you yeah. draw it up. Looked like they had done that or practiced that a time or two. First down, Santa Fe. Tie ball game. So they're trying to get the lead right now. Yeah. They were up 13 at one point. Yeah, and when they were up at 13, it looked like they couldn't be stopped. So I'm actually quite Im Im impressed with the Bulldogs' turnaround here. Ball is snapped. Hand off up the middle. Ethan Hyde. Short game there. They've been going to him all night. And he has found some running range some running lanes for the most part. Yeah, it's slowed down a lot since those first two, well, first three possessions. So. Second and seven right at midfield at the 49. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to Hike again. He's going to bounce outside, gets to the 45, close to the 40 before he's brought down by the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. And a late flag. I think it's taunting or unsportsmanlike. Unfortunately, that's that's what I feel like it was. I feel like there was some jaw jacking down there. We'll see what the call is. It was a late flag. But I think there was some talking going on. I mean, this we're going to see this. I mean, they you know, they're high school athletes. They're extremely competitive. It's a tie ball game and a rivalry ball game. I mean, you're going to see some unfortunate flags like that, but and it's against the Wolves, and it's a personal uh, foul. It's 15 yeah. yards. and uh, That's going to hurt. That's going to bring them back. They still get first down, though. But what is it going to be, first and 25? No, they, they get the new set of downs. The penalty occurred okay, after. Okay, so it's first. first they just first lost down. the yardage. Gotcha. Okay. Ball is snapped. They're going to fake the run and throw. Complete to Strawn. Makes one man miss. And he is tackled. At about the 37, beautiful ran play. They've ran it before, but we're unable to complete the pass, and that was the one that I said, hey, yes. they're going to come back to. And yeah. they just did. And they just got a big old chunk of 20 with yeah. it, so yeah. it's good time to come back to it. First and 10 on the 37. Ball is snapped, faked. The run, run is faked, and it's going to be a comeback route. Complete? I mean, it, it was close to an interception. I yeah, couldn't tell if the I, receiver or the defensive back had made. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's going to be second and one for the Santa Fe. They've all of a sudden. Marched down the field. Yeah, making some moves. Shotgun formation. Three receivers split. Two to the wide side of the field. They're going to hand off to Hike up the middle. He gets tackled really close to the 15-yard line. 
And I believe that's Snowdy in right now. Oh, that's Snowdy. Micah Snowdy, senior running back for Edmond Santa Fe and has had a really good career. Had a lot of carries during his time at Edmond Santa Fe. That's going to be first and 10. The 17 ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to the running back. He makes one man miss. And it's taking a bunch of Bulldogs to bring him down. In fact, they're not going to bring him down, but they are going to whistle the play dead. Yeah, they I'm, are in the red zone, Taylor. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see more snotty uh, after that touchdown run he had. Uh, they do like to rotate that revolving door of running backs a lot more usually, but Hikes had a hot hand, and they've stuck with him more tonight. Second and two. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to the running back up the middle. He's going to score. Touchdown, Micah Snowdy. For the Edmond Santa Fe Wolves, they're going to have a six-point lead. May, might be seven, pending the extra point. That was a great drive by the Timberwolves. They took about four minutes off the clock. Uh, did have a couple penalties on that that didn't end up hurting Ball them. Ball is snap, and we've got a flag. False start by the kicking team. So they're going to back it up five yards. And, and that's a big deal with these not being uh, yeah. give-me's tonight. It's been hard to put the uh, football through the upright tonight. Had a couple bad snaps that have been detrimental. The Edmond Santa Fe special teams. Ball is snap. Kick is up and no good. No good. No good. So Edmond Santa Fe is going to have a six point lead over Edmond Memorial. And now Santa Fe is going to have to kick the ball to the Bulldogs. For their, for their first, second possession? Yeah, and I almost asked you, Swick, if you're Santa Fe and with how bad that miss was earlier in the game, do you even go for a field goal again? And I'm not going to lie, when I got backed up five, I probably would have gone ahead and bite the bullet and, and ran an offensive play. Well, when you have the athletes that they do, they've got Angelo Rankin, uh, they've got Taylor Chitron, they've, they've got a plethora of running backs. I mean, they're... They had options. I wouldn't have been mad at all if they decided to go for two, but. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the uh, strategy from the rest we'll of the We'll see if it, if, it, if it gets down to it. I mean, the question is, are they comfortable kicking a field goal if we get to the end of the game? Yeah. You know, and it's a one, two-point game, you know. Edmund Memorial's kick return team has ran out onto the field. Remember, they have to secure this first. They've only been able to secure one. Well, they've kept all of them, but they fumbled uh, three of four uh, kickoff returns here. So, Number 41, Adam Stell in to return the kick for Edmund Memorial. Also number 38, Jeremiah Robinson in the kick. Stell caught the kickoff, returned it about five yards. They're going to mark yeah. it down at the 35-yard line. Funny, they, they move him out of the returner uh, position, and he ends up getting the, uh, the ball anyways, and he has his best return he's had all night. Edmund Memorial going to try and tie this ball game up and might even take the lead pending an extra point. They've looked really good their last three possessions they or ran four the, possessions. They ran the football effectively tonight. Shotgun formation, two running backs. They're going to hand off to Sudel, who makes a really good cut initially at the line of scrimmage and is brought down for about four-yard gain. It's going to be second and six for the Bulldogs. About a minute 45 left in the third quarter. Not a whole lot of fireworks so far in the second half. Shotgun formation. 
They're going to hand off to Toodle up the middle for about three yards. He's going to be about two shy of the first down marker. It's third and very short. You put yourself in a good position again, and as well as you've been running it, I wouldn't be surprised to see another one right here. Third and two for the Bulldogs. Trying to draw him off sides with the tough snap count. Ball is snap. Gonna hang it. It's good enough for the first down, the 50. Is that number 10? Yes. For Edmund Memorial, Asif Muhammad. No, Muhammad Asif. Senior linebacker and fullback slash running back, and he's kind of banged up down there at midfield. We've got one Edmund Memorial player, and I think we have one Edmund Santa Fe player. The Memorial player is for sure a cramp. I do not know what the Santa Fe player is down for. A nice Santa Fe trainer was already stretching the Memorial player out. Yeah, these kids are playing hard tonight. I, I, I give them credit. Everyone's there. flying to the football. Uh, yeah, it's been very, very fun to watch tonight. I mean, we'd expect nothing less in a rivalry game. But, you know, games can get out of hand pretty quick, and both teams have been very disciplined. They haven't given up very many big plays. The biggest play we saw was that 50-yard run by uh, one of the Goff brothers. I believe it was Cameron, but everything else has been pretty much under 20 yards. You know, Corman Goff got banged up there as well. Yeah. We'll try and get, get you an update on him as well. We couldn't decide if he was banged up or severely cramped. He was walking off on his own weight, but he was gimpy. Edmund Memorial trying to answer on offense right at midfield on the 50-yard line. First and 10. Ball is snap. Carson Riney. Short gain. Yeah, might have just got to the back to the line of scrimmage there. Uh, great job by the defensive line. Going to be second and ten right at the 50-yard line. Good job by the D-line to stretch that out. Carson Riney, senior quarterback, number 12 for the Bulldogs, has done a, a great job managing yes. this offense, doing their best to limit mistakes. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Close ball game here inside the Wolf Den on Edmond Santa Fe campus. Santa Fe's up by six, 26 to 20 over Edmond Memorial, but Edmond Memorial is making progress. And they've got really good field position here as they try and tie this ball game up and possibly even take the lead. I'm excited. It's been really fun. I'm, uh, the fourth quarter uh, shouldn't be anything but more entertainment. Might come down to who actually has this last possession, Swick. That's true. You're right. I mean, we, it came down to the last possession at the end of the first half to cut the deficit to yeah. To, to one possession game, and they were able to score. And the Memorial scored with seven seconds left before halftime. And here we are again to start the fourth quarter. It's going to be second down and ten for Edmund Memorial. Carson Riney in at quarterback. Gets the snap. Hands off to Goff, who gets tackled in the backfield. Just, I mean, it was a perfectly read play by Colin Oliver, the Oklahoma State commit for Edmund Santa Fe. Just got a lot of penetration and made the play in the backfield. That's going to be a significant loss. Yeah, now you're in a third and long situation. 
more than likely you're going to have to throw it here. Riney's overlooking the defense. Two running backs. He throws out in the flats to the wide receiver. It's complete for maybe five, six yards. So it's going to be fourth in, I don't know, seven. Yeah, now they are past midfield here, so. Well, I don't see the punt team running out yeah. of the field for Edmond Memorial. It looks like right now they could be going for it. Could have a quick kick situation. Okay, they're bringing out the punt team. I don't blame them for at least thinking about it. Under 11 minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. we still got a lot of ball game here. Ball is snapped. Punt is up. Great punt. Good hang time. Bobbled the, the return but caught it, and he's tackled for a short gain right at the 16-yard line, I think they'll mark it. We've got another Edmund Santa Fe player who's shaking up down there. He's trying to get up and around and walk it off, bless his heart. That's Keon McKinney, the junior wide receiver for the Wolves. He looks like he's going to be all right. At least we hope. Edmund Santa Fe going to get an opportunity to increase their lead here on this possession. Edmund Memorial defense lining up, and we're about to get this thing started. First and ten for Edmund Santa Fe. Scott Pfeiffer in at quarterback. Ball is snapped. Going to hand off to Ethan Hike, who tries to find a lane. He gets a little bit of running room, but he's going to be tackled after a two- or three-yard gain. Looks like one of those offensive linemen is going to have to make a, a substitution as well. Yeah, and it's one of their big boys, too, 76. Uh, definitely looks like someone I'd Corey, like to have protecting Corey me. Corey Spurgeon, who is a big, big offensive lineman, also has college football aspirations. They got the substitute. That is his left tackle. Lineman in there. Second and seven. Ball is snapped. Pfeiffer looks to throw. Complete. He's going to get it. 25 30. That's good enough for a first down. I think that's Angelo Rankin, who hasn't touched the ball very many times in the first half or even in the third quarter. So they completed that pass to him out in the flats, and he was able to run for a first down. First and 10 at their own 31. Edmund Santa Fe has the momentum right now. Shotgun formation, three receivers split. Pfeiffer fakes the run, throws the pass complete. Wow. Over the middle. He's got room to run. The 10-5 to five touchdown, Edmund Santa Fe. Very well ran and executed play for the Wolves, and that gives them a two-possession lead. I believe that was, what number was he? Number eight. Number eight for Edmund Santa Fe caught the touchdown pass. That's Sean Allen, senior wide receiver. Making memories here tonight in this rivalry football game. Extra point team is ran out onto the, actually that's not the extra point team. That's the offense. They're gonna go for two. I, I thought they might do that, Swick. Ball is snapped. The quarterback is going to throw it. It's good. I'm not sure who they had in at quarterback, but they completed it to Taylor Chitrana in the corner of the end zone for a two-point conversion. Well, they did a great job of selling the, the QB run there. Everyone bit, and he was just wide open there for an easy little floater. Nice touch. Edmund Santa Fe, 34. Edmund Memorial, 20.
So Edmond Memorial is going to get the ball back here. They're going to need to score rather quickly because they're going to, if they do score, they're going to still going to be behind seven to seven, six, seven, eight points, depending on what they do after they score. Yeah, this but really isn't set up for the style of game we've been seeing them play tonight. So we're going to probably see some more passes from the young quarterback, that, or sorry, he's a senior quarterback, that we haven't seen uh, uh, yet. So I'm excited to watch him sling it. Let's see what he can do here. Uh, just be uh, careful with the football. And Carson Riney can throw the football. I know they've been a very run-oriented yes. offense tonight. But that's but because they've been so successful with it too, folks. You're right. It's not that – that they can't. We just haven't seen it because they haven't had to. Well, when you have Corman and Cameron Goff back there at running back, the two-headed yeah. twin brother and monsters. And then number 40 came in after halftime, and his legs were as fresh as could be. He's looked really good for yeah, them. Yeah, Mitchell Sudel. Yes, when the Goff brothers have needed a break. Kick is up. It is caught by Memorial. They made one man miss, and he is tackled. By a plethora of wolves. No flag on the pin on the play either. <laughs> and that's always nice. I love flag free plays. That was Grayson Logan, sophomore for Edmund Memorial on the return. So I'm sure their sense of urgency is just through the roof right now, being in the fourth quarter down by fourteen. They're gonna need to score as quickly as possible. Making a late substitution. First and 10. Ball is snap. They're going to hand off to number 10. That's sort of a repeat. Oh, it was oh a sorry. It was yeah, my bad. You I got, you fell I for got, the fake. I got all jumbled up in the mess. I it, thought number 10 was the quarterback. No, my they, bad. They, uh, they gave the ball to number 10. He was hit in the backfield. It was red. Was, I think that was a Colin Oliver again. Just great defensive He's, yeah. play by that outside linebacker for Edmund Santa Fe. Yeah, one of those instinctual players. Uh, He's just got to. That's why he's going to play uh, on the Division One level next yes. year. Second and 15 for the Bulldogs. Getting lined up. Adam Stell in motion, middle screen, no good. Quarterback had to throw it away. Good decision by Carson Riney. Just wasn't open. No. Just wasn't open. Yeah, no. And what that does is stop the clock as well. So it's third and long, third and 15 for the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. They're really going to need to – some way, somehow, convert this third down into a first down. Shotgun formation, three receivers split, two to the wide side of the field. Carson Riney overlooking the defense. Stell in motion. And we've got a whistle. They're going to call the play dead. I didn't know oh, there is a flag over here. Yeah, and I'm going to blame that on uh, the coach right there. You got to know that. Was that delay a game? Yeah, you got. Oh my goodness. You got. You got to see that and bail your quarterback that's, out of that. That's so. That's that's that. That puts them even. Yeah, third and twenty. Yeah, it's, now it's. Yeah, that's not a very deep easy, on your own end situation yeah. to be in. Shotgun formation. Ronnie gets the ball. Bootlegs left. Throws big. Oh, almost, man. almost completed to Tyrell Bruder, the sophomore wide receiver for Edmund Memorial. Came really close to bringing it in. And it goes wow. back to what we said. I mean, Carson Riney can throw the Now football. we got a flag. Uh, Memorial and uh, Santa Fe talking to each other the whole way back to the field. I don't know who he's going to throw this on. It's going to be oh, on Santa Fe. Oh, is that going to be an automatic first down? I believe so. Oh, my goodness. And, and folks at home, this is the second time Santa Fe's done this, where they've stopped him on third down, brought him to fourth, 
and then a personal foul has given the Bulldogs a new set of downs for no reason. Wow. Really tough when you shoot yourself in the foot like that. Go from getting the football to. They're still talking it over, though, so. I mean, it could it be off offsetting penalties, too, on both teams. Well, uh, Santa Fe guy is the return man, so he should have probably gone out and got ready to return the ball. The Memorial guys are walking to their bench, so they have that going on their side. And they're going to call it on both, though. Gotcha. So Edmund Memorial is going to have to punt here. Unless they want to go, go for, for it on 4th and 15 on their own 24. Very dangerous. A lot of time left, though. 8.26. I, mean, I don't know. It's tough. Uh, obviously, Luke Orvis feels the need to punt, punt the football away, so they're going to do that. The kick is up, and it's going to bounce around the midfield, and Edmund Memorial is going to down the football, and Edmund Santa Fe is going to take over. Now, if you're Edmund Santa Fe here, they're just going to want to milk the clock. And if they can milk the clock and put some more points on the, on the board just to put a nail in the coffin, you know, I, I, that's what I expect them to do. Yeah, I think another touchdown would probably seal this thing up for sure. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Santa Fe be aggressive here. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand off to Hike. Oh, outside. He's going to run 40, 35. That's going to be about a 15-yard run, really close. Good enough for an Edmund Santa Fe first down. Yeah, he makes <laughs> getting 21 yards look easy, Swick. And they love to run that draw sweep. I bet they're averaging at least uh, 11 yards on that sweep. And the vision that Ethan Hike has. I mean, he if he sees just a little bit of daylight, boom. He's going to hit it hard and get a big gain. First and ten, Edmund Santa Fe. Pfeiffer hands the ball off to Snowdy up the middle for about real quick five yards. Senior Micah Snowdy, who had the touchdown earlier. I think he's got a couple tonight. He ain't got a ton of yards, but he's got two touchdowns. He's kind of like their goal line. Yeah. Goal line. He's got Running a low center, center of gravity, and he runs real hard. Shotgun formation, three receivers split, second and six, Edmund Santa Fe. They're going to hand the ball off to the running back. He's going to get a first down. I'm not sure. I, don't, I think that was someone different, too. That was a new running back, but it was good enough for a first down, I believe. Everyone who's getting the ball handed to him right now is running hard. Seven and a half minutes, that clock is ticking. When they say ground and pound, this is the type of football they're talking about right here. You know what they're going to do. Can you stop them? Shotgun formation, three receivers split. Pfeiffer in a quarterback overlooking the defense. Ball is snapped. He's going to hand off to the running back who finds a little bit of room. Gets a very short yardage. Yeah, but keeps that clock running. Positive yards. Be second and seven here. All the running backs are, are doing exactly what they're supposed to do right now. So is that offensive line. Give them credit as well. I believe the running back is Dustin Tupel. Okay. Senior. Edmund Santa Fe Wolf. Good to see a senior getting some playing time. Shotgun formation. They're going to give it to Tupel. He finds a lane, makes one man miss, and then gets hit by a bunch of Edmund Santa or Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. Short gain for the Wolves. Great cut initially. It was a, I, I thought Dustin Tupel. I thought he was going to get more out of it after that, but no, people were uh, able to swarm him after that first cut. A gazelle-like cut. I like those. <laughs> 
shotgun formation. They've got Taylor Chitron lined up in the slot. One running back. They're going to hand off to Tupel up the gut for a short gain. I think it's a first down, though. That's what they need. They're not in any hurry. No. If you're Edmund Memorial, you should just expect run right in this situation. Yeah, I also believe they're in four down territory without their field goal games gone. So, uh, yeah, I expect them to run it every time. Shotgun formation, three receivers split. They're going to hand off to Tupel up the middle again, and then he is quickly tackled by Edmund Memorial. And they're going to make a substitution. Micah Snotty back in the game. This is his territory. Usually gets the ball in the goal line area or deep in the red zone. Shotgun formation. Trying to draw him off sides. They give it to Snowdy. He's going to bounce it outside. Cuts up. Five. Touchdown. Unbelievable play. Is that his third touchdown tonight? Yeah, third. Unbelievable. I thought it was going to be a draw sweep, but he cut. He found the lane in the middle and just cut up inside for a quick 10-yard yeah. gain for a touchdown. Really impressive. Edmund Santa Fe, 40. Edmund Memorial, 20. Extra point team out onto the field. No, it's not. It's I, the offense. I, yeah, I was about to say, no. <laughs> Swick, I told you, they're done with Reverse. that. Reverse. And it's going to be no good. They ran a reverse He should for the two-point conversion. I still like that play. They ran it to number eight, Sean Allen. And he got a couple yards away but couldn't get it into the end zone. So we're going to stick with the. 40 to 20 score, Edmund Santa Fe on top of Edmund Memorial. It, and it's been a close game for the majority uh, for three quarters. Yeah. Most of the fourth quarter. And then Edmund Santa Fe has kind of really asserted their dominance and, you know, showed their power on offense. And they're just tough, tough to stop right now. Very tough to defend, and their defense, led by Colin Oliver, has been extremely disruptive. Up, well, and he's stepped up the last three possessions for them big time. He, he's a uh, – how many tackle for loss? I think he had four tackles for loss in those last three possessions. So Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he cannot be blocked right now. No. Stay tuned as we announce Big O's Pork and Dreams Barbecue Player of the Game. And if you can, treat yourself to the best barbecue in Edmond, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma City. It's Big O's Pork and Dreams Barbecue, located at 285 South Santa Fe Avenue in Edmond, Oklahoma. Give them a call at 405-657-2235. Home of the famous Fat Butt. And you're like, what is the Fat Butt? Well, let me tell you, it's a loaded baked potato. Your choice of brisket or pulled pork. Then he puts on butter, cheese, sour cream, baked beans, barbecue sauce. And then to top it off, they put spare ribs on it. Oh, they'll throw grilled onions and jalapenos on it for you. Oh, man. They, Delicious. They, they're amazing. And also, they have incredible dirt cake pudding, which is... It is good. Oh, my goodness. They have flavored, really good. flavored lemonades that are good, too. Big O's Pork and Dreams Barbecue, 285 South Santa Fe Avenue in Edmond, Oklahoma. And they're our sponsor for the player of the game. <coughs> Edmond Memorial's going to return the kick to the 41-yard line. And they're going to need to score as fast as humanly possible. They're down by 20 with under five minutes left in the game. Number 12, Carson Riney in a quarterback. Ball is snapped. He's looking to throw deep. He's got a man. It is complete. 
That's good for almost a 30-yard gain. Yeah, great uh, ball. Great uh, execution by the Bulldog offense. Yeah. Great route to be wide open. And they may throw deep here again because time is not on their side. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. They're going to hand it off to the Goff twin who gets maybe two yards. And his helmet came off again, so he'll have to go sit out for a play. Making the, some substitutions. Number eight, Luke Hankins in. They're taking up a lot of time here, Swick. You've also got Mitchell Sudel, number 40 in at running back. Ronnie looking over the defense. Seudel is motioning. They're going to throw it. It's picked. Edmund Santa Fe. Is that Oliver? Oh, oh fumble. he fumbles. And it is re recovered by the, the Bulldogs. Unbelievable. Just to recap that play, Carson Riney threw an interception. The player that intercepted the pass ran for... 30 yards. Oh, I think 40. Yeah. 40 yards before he was getting tackled, but while he was getting tackled, he dropped the ball. And Edmund Memorial recovers. First and 10. Well, there's usually sometimes a reason why the people on defense are on defense, Swick. Mitchell Sudel in it. Running back, they're going to throw, though, incomplete. Tried to throw an out route to number 81, Grayson Logan. I'm sorry, Logan Grayson. It's going to be second down and 10 on their own 30. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in the ball game. Edmund Memorial is down by 20. They need to score now. Shotgun formation, four receivers split, two on each side. S ball to snap. Riney throws. Picked intercepted. again by number four. And it's going to be ran out of bounds. Edmund Santa Fe is going to take over on offense. That's the second interception for number four, Gavin Duverger senior defensive back for the Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. Would have had a pick. The first one would have been a pick six had they not yes. got it called back for a penalty. Yeah, that one was fun to watch even though it got called back. He, Just had, he had some room to maneuver on that play right there, but it ultimately ran it out of bounds. Shotgun formation for Edmund Santa Fe. They're going to hand off the Ethan Hike up the middle. He gets about three, four yards before he's brought down. And they just want that clock to keep ticking, baby. Yeah, they're going to go to what they did on the last possession. We're going to run it every play. And uh, we're going to run this clock out and win this game. Yeah, up by 20. That looks to be the case for Edmund Santa Fe. But they're still going to run their offense Pounded on the ground. They're going to hand off to Hike up the middle. He makes one man miss, another man miss, and that's going to be good enough for a first down. Well ran play by senior running back Ethan Hike and well blocked by Edmund North. Yeah, he heard we give out player of the games. He's still fighting for that uh, big O's player of the game uh, certificate, so. I like to see that from the Wolves. Shotgun formation. Hand off to, no, quarterback Keith Pfeiffer's going to score. Wow. That's twice where he's kept that at the perfect time. And nobody expected it. Touchdown, Edmund Santa Fe. I love 46 to 20. I Great love, quarterback key. I love watching an option when it's ran and you make the perfect decision on it and twice. <laughs> and totally fooled the defense. Yeah, completely fooled him because he hasn't ran but twice and both of his runs were for touchdowns, folks. 
Well, Santa Fe has ran up the score now. It's 46 to 20, and they're going to add insult to injury by going for two here. Ball is snapped. Pfeiffer throws a fade. It's intercepted, so that's that two-point conversion is no good. Grayson Logan on the interception for Edmund Memorial, but it's just going to be too late. They're going to get the ball on offense, but they're down 26 with two minutes and 42 seconds to go. Valiant effort by the Bulldogs. For the most part, they, it's, it's been a game until Edmund Santa Fe just kind of ran it up there, got the yeah. momentum, had the interceptions. Yep. You know, the Edmund Memorial just couldn't it stop just got, the run. Yeah, just got away end. from him there at the yeah. end. Uh, the score, the final score won't really reflect how close of a game it really was. That's or, right. I agree. But uh, that's how football goes, man. It, you, you can just uh, get down once, and, th and then if you lose another possession like that and – and you go out with a quick three and out, the, the tides can turn quick, and that's how it happened for the Bulldogs. And be thinking, Taylor, you probably already have the player in mind, but. Boy, it's a tough one tonight. The Big O's Pork and Dreams Barbecue Player of the Game. We will be announcing it very shortly. want to thank everybody for tuning in to the live stream tonight. The All City Sports YouTube link that you can find at KINBFM.com. Kick is up. And Edmund Memorial's going to receive it and bring it out to the 35 before being brought down by a pack of Edmund Santa Fe Wolves. So Edmund Memorial's not going to quit. They're going to keep running their offense. The game might still be settled. I mean, the, the you know, they're not going to be able to come back and win this game, but they're going to show some pride and keep playing as hard as they can to finish out this game. Carson Riney has been a quality quarterback tonight. Yeah, and was very protective of the football until the last two interceptions, and that's them being somewhat desperate trying to get back in it at the end. Quick pass out to Adam Stell, incomplete. It's going to be second and 10. 2.32 left in the game. Santa Fe's on top, 46-20 to 20 over Edmund Memorial. Ronnie's getting the call from the coach. You can tell Memorial's not set up to, to get too far behind teams, that they would rather be in control the whole time. Mitchell Sudel in it running back. Ball is snapped. They're going to give it to Sudel. Makes one man miss, and then he is tackled close to the 40-yard line. I love the I love the yes. binoculars. Yes. They are a game changer for a broadcaster like you. Need you need to and I. start using them, yeah. You could use them anytime, bud. Clock is ticking. They are Emma Memorial is getting the line of scrimmage to run the play. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. They're gonna give it to Sudel up the middle. He is immediately tackled by Colin Oliver. We've said his name all night tonight. Very well defended. Number 97 for Edmund Santa Fe. Zane Birch, the junior defensive lineman, helping out with the tackle. We've also got big 66 down there. Matt Barton, the senior defensive lineman, been really tough to block tonight. Yeah, done a good job of sealing that edge. Ball is snapped. They're going to run the option, and there they're going to pitch it to Stell. Boy, He's going to be tackled. That's going to be, be a face mask. No, it horse looks like collar? a horse collar. I won't doubt the man with the uh, binoculars, yeah. that's for sure. These things are superpowers. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's like the perfect uh, size for the field, too. 
Yeah, that's going to be horse collar. Pitch the ball to number 41, Adam Stell, and he was brought down. So now that's going to bring it be a first down and 10 for Edmund Memorial. Is that a 15-yard penalty? Yeah, yeah. Wow. They are serious about that ho horse collar penalty. Shotgun formation. Almost a minute left in the game. Edmund Memorial still making moves. Hands off to Sudel. He's looking for a lane. He is tackled by 46 of Edmund Santa Fe. Damon Harvey, junior defensive lineman for the Wolves. Number 10, Muhammad Asif in at running back. Carson Riney. Clock still running. Looking over the defense. Stell in motion. They're going to pitch it to Stell, who is tackled by number 40 for Edmund Santa Fe, Chris Fitzpatrick. And that might be our ball game, ladies and gentlemen. I believe it is Edmund Santa Fe is going to win tonight's rivalry high school game of the week. Sponsored by Metro Technology Centers. In Communication Federal Credit Union. Want to thank our sponsors tonight. Edmund Santa Fe, victorious 46 to 20 over Edmund Memorial. Heck of a ball game tonight. It was, it was. Tyler. Like I said, the final score doesn't really tell everyone at home what happened. It, Memorial had a really good showing up against them. Just lost it there at the end. It got away from them a little out of hand, but great, great matchup tonight. Great football. I was glad we got to see it. We've got some great views of the Santa Fe Wolves celebrating their victory tonight against their rivalry opponent, Edmund Memorial. I got to ask you, Taylor, who is your Big O's Pork and Dreams Barbecue player of the game? Man, I've, I've really, I, I've got to give it to Snowdy. I do. Uh, off of, I want to say he either had t around eight or ten carries, and on those ten carries he has around 50 yards and three touchdowns. That's a statistical great great night even though it's real small yards wide uh very very uh efficient so. three touchdowns is three touchdowns yeah i love big o's pork and dreams barbecue logo that you're probably looking at right now via our online stream of course he's you know former assistant coach at santa fe big yeah. o is so he's got a got a lot of history here in this great suburb of Edmond, Oklahoma. Want to thank everybody for tuning in to tonight's KINB CBS Sports Radio Game of the Week. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you tune in next week for the high school game of the week. And I, I mean next week. I really mean Friday. Friday, Friday, because Friday. Because it is Monday night, so we will be back Friday night for the high school game of the week. And make sure you check out you know who the we're playing, Slick? I'm not actually sure off the top of my head. We'll be at Memorial for their homecoming, and Norman's coming to town, so it should be another good uh, game. Yeah, I, it should be another one. I'm sure we'll see more of Carson Riney and Michael Schnoodle and also the Golf Twins. Yeah, they've got a great uh, three-headed monster in their uh, backfield at running back, so... Looking forward to seeing what they can do Friday. Want to thank our sponsors tonight, Boomer Kia, Tinker Federal Credit Union, Big O's Pork and Dreams Barbecue, Communication Federal Credit Union, and Metro Technology Centers for being the sponsors for tonight's live stream broadcast at KINBFM.com via the All City Sports YouTube link. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm your CBS Sports 
radio play-by-play -play announcer Jay Swick. As I'm, for my yep. color, color commentator and dear friend, the man himself, Mr. Taylor Hildebrand. Taylor? Yeah, great night tonight. I'm ready for Friday. Uh, we couldn't have asked for a, a better night and a, a better matchup. So Hope everyone has a great rest of the week. And make sure you tune in all week long and especially next Friday for the high school game of the week right here on CBS Sports Radio, KINB.